Hello there, how are you? I hope all is well and everything is absolutely amazing on your end. Welcome back on my channel. You're listening to Light Channelings once again and I am back with a new card reading for all of you. Before starting with the reading, allow me to express my gratitude for the loving positive energy you're sending towards me as well as your valuable contribution and donations. May God bless you with abundance in all of its beautiful forms. So without wasting any of our time, let's begin with the reading. I am picking up two situations here. So this is for the feminine. Okay, this guidance and uh, these situations are related with the feminine counterpart. So if you are the feminine counterpart listening to me right now, please pay attention as this is very important. If you pay attention to this guidance, it will help you avoid the upcoming challenges, obstacles, difficulties ahead of you. Okay. What I'm picking up, what I'm seeing here is that if you are the feminine counterpart who is uh, troubled or is getting troubled by other people, if you are experiencing harsh judgments coming from other people or if you feel like you're getting targeted unnecessarily by other people maybe the karmic individuals are targeting you maybe there are other people who are judging you questioning your choices and decisions and are trying to turn people against you or are hating on you don't worry as the people who are judging you are getting judged at this point of time. All you need to do is to remain true to your own self. You need not worry about these people as you're going to receive the help from your divine team as well as other helpful people who know your worth, who understand you, who are supporting you or are going to support you when the time comes. It's all up to your divine team and uh, Almighty is watching over you and is protecting you from all of these people. At the same time, divine is delivering these people the taste of their own medicine and the same situations and circumstances, experiences as well they need to learn their lessons and uh, feel how it feels when other people treat you the way they are treating you or had been treating you so far so this is what's happening i see that some of you were really really focused upon these people or uh, this might be an issue for you where uh, people were trying to create unnecessary problems troubles and obstacles for you or were just you know targeting you and attacking you for no reason that's going to come to an end in the near future or you can take a sigh of relief after knowing that all of these people are under divine judgment and uh, they are getting judged at this point of time so the way they've been treating you is exactly the same way someone else is treating them or other group of people are targeting and uh, attacking them in the same way shape or form they were attacking you if this is the situation, you should not worry about any of that and you should remain in your own power. You must stand tall in your own power, being true to your own self and completely focused upon your own individuality and authenticity without worrying about anyone's opinions, judgments, ridicule and anything of that sort okay so if this was your issue know that they are going through what they need to go through and they are not happy at this point of time they are losing people places situations circumstances jobs friendships associations and everything they had it's a possibility that the people who were judging you and were attacking you actually lost those are the people they teamed up with or ganged up with because of some sort of conflict that happened or took place among them or we can say that they are fighting with each other and judging each other for uh, whatever reasons here we don't know but they are under judgment and they are just receiving the taste of their own medicine okay the other situation the other case i'm seeing here is that if you are the feminine counterpart who got fed up 
with her soul counterpart because you could not see any kind of tangible action coming from your counterpart and you got fed up of waiting for your counterpart to do something or say something and you decided or took an action to get involved with someone else or start a third party situation in your own life if this is your situation or if this is your case where you brought a third party in your connection all knowingly because you wanted to rush into something or you just wanted to move forward in your own life so here you made a hasty decision a impulsive decision to jump into another relationship or you tried to establish or create something with someone else i see that if you are trying to create anything outside of your connection or if you already started something you are attracting karma for that is what i'm seeing here okay i'm sorry for being so straightforward but this is the truth because you were supposed to remain patient here and you were supposed to wait for clear and obvious signs so i feel like because of impatience and because of things not working out in your connection with your soul counterpart you may have thought of giving a chance to another person or another relationship but here what i see is that it's not going to work out for you as this is another karmic situation or connection you created for your own self here and you're attracting some harsh karma for that and there is a possibility that if you did so or if you are trying to do so or if you are forcing something outside of your divine spiritual soul connection because you've lost hope in this connection or you're just fed up of waiting and you want to feel happy you just want to okay this is something i'm picking up you may have thought that if your counterpart can do so why can you not this is a mistake please pay attention because divine is clearly giving a judgment here that kindly don't make this sort of blunderous mistake here as the consequences are not going to be positive or pleasing for you okay it's not just that this connection is not going to work out for you you're also going to attract a lot of hatred a lot of slander a lot of ridicule coming from other people maybe from your community so if you want to avoid that kindly make sure that you do not jump into anything out of haste out of impatience or out of this frustrated energy that you're finding yourself to be in please pay attention to this as this may bring in horrible situations circumstances consequences or outcomes for you okay so please make sure that you remain centered calm collected balanced and focused and please pay attention to the signs and synchronicities as the answer if you were seeking that if you can do something like this or not it's clear no i usually pull six cards from angel oracle deck and both the cards have come out to be a no clear no okay i clarified what it was all about so it was about creating something else or trying to bring a peaceful solution or resolution outside of your connection which is not going to work out for you so please don't get defensive don't try to control things here and don't try to control outcomes you are advised guided and suggested to kindly wait for clear and obvious signs if you can clearly see that things are not working out in your connection you need to know or understand here that it's a karmic cycle that's going on which is going to end in divine timing your connection is not going anywhere please pay attention all that needs to happen here is the balance that you need to achieve acquire or aim for in your own life and within your own self because if you do so everything is going to work out for you in divine right timing it's just a cycle that's going on i saw number 1221 right when i said that it's just a cycle it's just a karmic cycle which was part of the plan which was part of your divine life plan so that both of you can clear your karma and learn your life lessons it's not like your counterpart is 
very happy in his or her own life they are not happy they are also in the midst of chaos troubles and struggles at this point of time there are people who are attacking them as well there are people who are causing huge conflict in their life but for some reason they are very much attracted to their soul counterpart so if you are their soul counterpart they are very much attracted towards you there are a lot of people who are uh, posing as a block in their life or are causing troubles for you but for some reason they are in a very free flowing energy your counterpart is not as much focused on those people who are troubling them as much as they are towards you and towards their own feelings they are feeling extremely good about something here i don't know what it is maybe it's your inner work that's working here maybe it's this energy that you're projecting out though you are also troubled by something and it's a possibility that you're trying to detach yourself from your counterpart and focus on to something or someone else that's drawing them in towards you and towards this connection there is something happening here i can't actually pinpoint what it is but there is something some sort of beautiful energy that's working in this connection and it's bringing balance in between both of you and among all of those people as well who are part of your connection directly or indirectly okay your counterpart is focused on to you focused on to your connection they are connecting with their own emotions they're connecting with this energy of this immense love they feel for you and they feel towards their soul counterpart for some reason your counterpart is actually trying to find a way out of something or there is someone in your counterpart's life who is extremely dominating authoritative and dictative it possibly is a woman they are dealing with at present it could be anyone it could be a mother figure it could be a sister a elder one it could be their uh, baby mama if they had a child with someone else it could be anyone okay take it how it resonates so your counterpart is focused on or are trying to figure a way out of this mess or this challenging situation they are facing with this person okay whoever it is i saw number 10 10 right when i said that and even before starting with the recording i saw number 10 10 after doing this reading and laying the cards for you all of you okay so your counterpart is trying to figure out a way or find a solution to get out of this struggle or this troubling situation they are in because this person whoever it is or there is a group of people who are causing problems for them or are just uh, trying to block their path possibly these people do not want you two to be together if that's the case i don't know i can't actually pinpoint as i said but there are issues in your counterpart's life i'm also seeing that the people your counterpart has deceived in the past are also trying to come back in their life to get even with them i am seeing that possibility here or we can say that something has happened here maybe truth has came out and that's why there is this conflict and this drama going on in your counterpart's life but your counterpart is not as much affected by it as much as they are focused on to you and this energy that you're emitting or this energy that they are feeling for some reason coming from you in this connection which is a beautiful energy which is actually helping them open their heart chakra towards you and open their heart for this connection they are manifesting this connection they are manifesting this connection in some way shape or form some of you might see number 111 a lot or this is what's happening with you a lot lately okay you might be seeing this number 111 a lot lately quite frequently or most often than usual so that's a sign for you to look for or if you're seeing that then this is a confirmation take it as a confirmation here that's what i see happening here okay so the guidance for you here is that kindly not focus on to anything or anyone that's dragging you down please pay attention to your own energies as if you make a mistake here and if you do not pay attention to the signs and synchronicities you may make a blunderous mistake which may prove itself to be a life changing event for you but not in a very positive manner 
okay so please pay attention to the signs and synchronicities and kindly wait before doing anything don't get impatient and don't do anything out of neglect or out of frustration which may not serve you in the long run is what i'm going to suggest you here or we can say that that's the guidance that's coming for you right here right now okay i don't know how this connection is working out right now and what divine is doing to bring you two back together into balance or bring this connection back into alignment so that you two can come back together in harmony i don't know what's happening here for a lot many of you i feel like the third party is getting karma and somehow it's all turning out in the favor of this connection the people who are targeting you the people who are attacking you the people who were saying nasty things about you the people who were judging you for no reason the people who were trying to cause separation in between you two are getting or receiving the karma for that and they are actually attracting all of those uh, negative experiences in their life which they wanted to create in your life or were wishing for you or in your connection that's what's happening with them for you i've already said kindly don't make that mistake right now or if you were thinking of doing something like that please pay attention to the signs and the answer for you is clear no a straightforward no so don't do that kindly wait as you are going to attract solutions and helpful people which are going to help this connection to ascend in uh, harmony love and balance if it is not happening right now just wait a little while longer for divine timing to arrive so that you can see those beautiful wonderful changes that you are manifesting for yourself in this connection okay there is beautiful progress happening here though this connection is not into the picture and i don't see you two being together at this point of time but what i'm seeing here is that it's a great possibility that you two can come back together in balance and harmony and restart your relationship or connection back again is what i'm seeing okay for some reason i don't know how it's all happening but the love is coming back again in between you two the passion is reignited the connection is coming back into the picture or the distance that got created here the emotional distance is fading away or is getting diminished somehow it's all working out for both of you please do not worry about other people or what's going to happen if you do not attract or manifest this union or reunion with your counterpart maybe it's because you are worrying about that you may think of starting something else which is not going to work out for you is what i'm seeing or what is going to happen in that connection the one you may try to create somewhere else because that is also going to prove or may prove to be a karmic connection for you which is going to bring in a lot of pain sorrow and suffering in your life so please pay attention do not it's your choice actually i'm just suggesting you or uh, this is the divine guidance that's coming for you that i'm relaying to all of you it's up to you ultimately it's your personal life it's your choice it's your decision if you want to do so or not if you want to pay attention to this divine guidance that's coming for you or not but I'm simply going to let you all know that divine is clearly passing this judgment that it's not going to work out for you and on top of that you're going to attract horrible situations and outcomes for you if you get impatient and uh, do something in haste neglect carelessness or uh, out of frustration so please pay attention to these things just surrender to the flow of the universe and go with the flow is what divine is guiding and suggesting you to do here know that your counterpart is actually in the same energy as you are in all you need to do is to get centered within and 
find a way to stop or put a pause to those racing thoughts that are revolving around in your mind and are making you confused, indecisive, puzzled or bewildered. That is actually your problem that you need to work on or that is the issue that's bothering you so much. And because of this, you may do something or you might be actually thinking of creating something else, which I feel like or I can tell you here, right here, right now is not going to work out for you. So this is the guidance that's coming for you. You are being warned to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities as well as your own energy, your thoughts and this vibration that you're sending out into the universe as it's all going to return back in your life. Okay, just wait is what divine is suggesting you here. Just wait before you do anything. Just wait before you make a decision to do something extremely drastic here. Just wait before jumping onto anything. Just wait. That's it. The cycle is going to end. All you need to do here is to remain patient because all that's happening here is karma clearing. The people who were troubling you, the people who came in between your connection or the people who caused the separation between you and your counterpart, you guys had karma with these people and I'm not saying that whatever they did was justified. No, it was not. They chose to do that. For that reason, they are getting karma. But here, if you do not pay attention to this and if you start to act blindly, putting a blindfold on your eyes, you may have to suffer for that is what you need to pay attention to and learn here. Okay, know that what they did was their karma, but how you're going to act and react is going to create your karma here. And if you've really learned your lessons on this journey, and if you're wise enough to understand that it's better to wait a while than create unnecessary problems and negative outcomes for you, which are going to trouble you for some good amount of time in the future would be a wise decision. Waiting would be a much more wiser choice and a wiser decision for you to take here at this point of time. Okay. You will receive the clarity. You'll receive justice. You'll receive the rewards you've worked so hard for. You're going to receive the love you rightfully deserve. You are going to receive the balance you deserve and the union or reunion as well. Only when you do not make these mistakes and you pay attention to the signs and synchronicities as well as your own energies. Okay. Please be careful about your uh, thoughts. Please be careful about having or feeling this urge to answer people back or picking up fights with those people who may come up to attack you or trigger you. You may get triggered during these times. So pay attention to all of these things as I feel like it's some sort of test for you that you're going to get presented with. So pay attention to all of that. Your counterpart, as I said, is dealing with someone or a group of people, but they are focused on this connection a lot more than usual. They are focused on bringing balance into this connection as much as you want to. They want it as well. Maybe subconsciously, maybe they don't understand that they want this at this point of time. Maybe they are in denial. I don't see that right now, but maybe that's a possibility. Above all, your connection isn't going anywhere. Above all, this connection is still there in the picture. Above all, your love is still there in your hearts. It's vibrating within your heart chakra. All you need to do is open your heart chakra and not get distracted by outside external forces, people, karmics or whatever it is okay so this was your reading i hope i made it all clear for all of you 
please pay attention and don't fall for the pitfalls you can already see ahead of you okay that's all that's the guidance that was coming for you because you may get tested for that so don't get impatient don't get frustrated even if you feel like you're getting fed up just know that divine is working for you and in your favor and this connection is going to come back into balance is what i see happening here but please make sure that you do not fall into any traps and you do not lose your uh, own uh, sense use your common sense use your gifts use your intuition before doing anything okay so this was your reading i hope you found it useful and beneficial if so do let me know how you felt in the comment section below feel free to hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such content to be readily available for you on a regular basis if your heart says so you can follow through with the link given in the description box below if you would like to contribute something or just would like to show your love and appreciation for the work we are doing here okay that's all for now I'll be back again till that time. Please take care of yourself and your loved ones. Bye-bye.